Live from the Big Apple Spot, <laughs> it's, it's Nobody's a <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is Jeanette. And this is Jessica. And we're Nobody's a Note. Yes. Welcome to a very special episode. We're the boss, nigga! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is our special Juneteenth, Pride in NYC, and 4th of July. Um, She's at 4th episode. of July. Whatever. Okay. Yay, let's get it started. Let's get started. As some of you may know. All of y'all better know. Yes, everyone better know that on uh, the 19th of June, every year, uh, people like us, black folk, <clears throat> uh, celebrate Juneteenth. And I guess if you guys don't know, let's let Jeanette take it away and explain to people that are morons what Juneteenth is. Right, if you black, <laughs> you don't know about Juneteenth, something's wrong. <laughs> it's the system. Okay, anyway. Talking about the community. So, <laughs> you know, we celebrate Juneteenth to acknowledge our ancestors um, who were freed on that day. To, I don't know. The day is up to, you know, for debate. But yes. in 1863 by the, the, declare of the, the Declaration of the uh, Emancipation Proclamation. Yes. For reclamation of our nation. And anyway. <laughs> um, but, you know, a lot of people know that, you know, our ancestors didn't get that news for years decades even and frankly you know we ain't really that free right now as it is stay woke yes so you know we honor the tradition of recognizing the past um not forgetting about the turmoil and also not forgetting about our triumphs um and you know recognizing the strength throughout it all of our people so you know what i'm saying happy june see my niggas (laughs) imagine if i was serious about that uh thank you Jeanette, for uh enlightening us all (laughs) stay woke (laughs) Okay, what's so what's next? How about some news from a uh, little ENT news? That's it, abbreviation for entertainment. Entertainment news, our cultural corner. We've really got to find a better name for that. Uh, yeah. Um, so I guess it's not really more, it's, I guess it's entertainment news, but it's also kind it's of... It's culture. Yes, but it's also what the fuck news. Uh, there's... <laughs> if you guys didn't know already, um, my, my, uh, Mike Tyson? Iron Mike? The boxer, uh oh, something's happening. It's, it's, it's still working. Okay. Uh, boxer Mike Tyson Lying. is about to be on Broadway. On Broadway. Uh, he is bringing. Bring back Smokey Joe. He's bringing, oh yeah, he's bringing his um, Vegas one man show uh, to Broadway, and that the show will be directed by none other than Spike Lee. Ah, Mr. Lee. Okay. Yes. Read, read what it's being billed as. Okay, the show is Burn being uh, billed as. <clears throat> A rare personal look inside the life and mind of one of the most feared men to ever wear the heavyweight crown. This riveting one-man show goes beyond the headlines, behind the scenes, and between the lines to deliver a must-see theatrical knockout. One two punch. Uh, ridiculous. That's completely ridiculous. Who the fuck says riveting? R- riveting. I can't. I don't say it. Riveting. Really. I can't even. She's from Alor. So. Elias. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean, I know this uh, copy is really disgusting and kind of masturbatory. Not in um, my face, though. I'm not here for that. <laughs> but it could really be interesting. What do you think? Okay, so if I lived a less broke life, mm-hmm. I would have flew out to Vegas in April to see him do the one-man show out there. I really okay. wanted to see it. I like Mike Tyson. I've always liked Iron Mike since I was a little kid. Um, and then when he came out with that documentary a couple years ago that he narrated, it was really colorful. He has a really interesting perspective on things. And his voice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I love Spike Lee, too. Mm-hmm. And so Spike Lee did the one-man show with my friend Gov on Broadway. Uh, who? Gov? Oh, you mean Roger Governor Smith? <laughs> yes. You don't really know him. Potato, potato. You know someone, you don't know someone. Whatever. Okay. Um, but Obsess over it someone. Was really, whatever. It was a really good one-man show. It was the Huey P. Newton story. Yes, and that was so very good. I think it's going to be good. Let's hope. Let's there hope. is a very slim chance that Mike and Spike will not anally rape us. Or if they do, there's some Vaseline. <laughs> with the, and uh, us normal theater goers with a completely ridiculous ticket price. So maybe we'll get to see it. Let's hope. And uh, when we do, you guys will be the first to know. Right. And if we don't go see it, or if you see it before we do, hit us up. Yes. Let us know. And then you can be, you know, a non-celebrity and come on the show and be in the intended business. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we're talking about New York Spectacular. Yes. Last week was Gay and Lesbian Pride here in New ah, York City. A poem. <coughs> oh, God. Pride, pride. Gays, gay elves, tra- 
friends, trans elves, bi's, bi elves, <laughs> and of course, queerious folks. <laughs> you know, you tried it with those last uh, few L's. So please, everyone, send letters to this one, not me. Y'all can send y'all fucking letters. <laughs> y'all long ass tumbler rants and shit i'm ready for a motherfucking healthy conversation <laughs> how many f words was that since the beginning seven nice i don't I mean, know i just made that number up. i don't know okay she pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Who does? anyway okay so you know i'm ready for a healthy discussion let's yes. bring on our guests wait, wait 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 wait. before we get to our guests i just have to let everyone our tens and tens of viewers out All there 11 of you guys <laughs> i want oh you guys i know i do <laughs> i want you guys to um Remember that this weekend a new movie opens out. It's it's uh, yeah. Beast of the Southern Wild. It got rave reviews at Sundance and a standing ovation at Cannes. Don't let that um, dis- discourage you. Though. I know, but it's it's about it's like a post Katrina fantasy film, like Pan's Labyrinth with crazy puppets. I I well, assume cool. it's starring the little a little six year old black girl. She's so adorable. Nice. She plays Our a character in the making named Hush Puppy. So that's adorable. Oh, that's cute. So everyone go see it if it's in your city. If you live in Podunk, I don't know what to tell you about how to get. I don't know. That. Find it on the internet or get a plane ticket and get a life. <laughs> yes. So on the real though, um, I also want to shout out to all our t-shirt designers out there. Oh yeah. Because you need to get your free Lauren Hill t-shirts together. Yes. You know why? Because um, the IRS is after our patron saint of well, song she, and shade. She yes. <laughs> uh, they trying to get her ass for tax evasion. Well, she pled guilty to tax evasion. She pled guilty? She pled guilty. Oh, my God. She didn't pay her taxes. There's no other things she could say. Well, you know they they love to lock black summers up. Yes. Anita Baker. Yes. Uh, Logan. Grammy Ma, Little Kim, Foxy Brown. Mm-hmm. So, free Lauren Hill. I'd like mine in a sans serif font. I want mine like in a nice cotton fluorescent shirt. beige I with, can't, a, uh, I with a couple of rips. What are those? Like from the Bahamas. I can't with those shirts. <laughs> anyway, so let's okay, let's keep it on the positive. Yes. Note. Poor Lauren Hill. Sorry, shout out Hill family. Yes. Straight out of the South Bronx. Woo! South South Bronx. My family, cause you know it's about nepotism. Okay. <laughs> um, Clarissa Alietto. Yeah. Come on in. Genuine music. Here we go. Great. There we go. Get yourself comfortable. Yeah, okay, you comfy? Okay. I'm great. Okay, yeah. Uh, Marquette's here too. Say, this is say awesome. hi off camera, Marquette. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually at Clarissa's house. Yes. yes. Yeah. Sweet. Welcome to the South Bronx, guys. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think I've ever been here. No? I don't think oh so. Oh my god. This is your second time. Oh, okay. But not in this this spot. You've been to the South Bronx. Remember you went to um we went to Platt's birthday party? Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Second time. Here. Two times. Two times. I'm gonna lean on your shoulders. I'm gonna the viewers. Not oh, my community. Nose. Yes. That's community. Oh, okay. Speaking of community. Yes. All right. Let's go straight into the meat of it. Pause. We really have to get better segues. Okay. Meat. Better meat. No. Okay. So, uh, let's get straight to it. You founded a community organization called Yo That's Peace. Yo That's Peace. We care about the youth. Them. Tell yes. us about yes. Yo That's Peace, please. Yes. Yo That's Peace is a community organization that I founded in the South Bronx, the My Haven section of the Bronx. Nice. And um, it's about just um, empowering the youth, but also telling them about the importance of nonviolence. Okay. Okay. You know, so like so, the practice like Gandhi, Martin Luther King. Right. Okay. Right. So we tell them about that, but we also try to get the guns off the streets. And there's a lot of youth out there that have guns. You know, it's easier for them to get guns than diplomas. Oy. So, you know, Damn. we're out there just trying to get them back in school, doing the right thing. Nice. Education is the key. Exactly. Okay, so um, we just got some news. The budget just passed, but before you know, Bloomy was trying to like shut That's down Mayor funding Bluebird for all you non nons. The billionaire <laughs> who's running the city terribly. Um, he ma- did some major budget cuts to a lot of programming for youth and yes. children. Yes. So what's the word on that now? Um, so before this week. We were advocating for uh, young young children, mm-hmm. for parents. We were advocating for guardians. We were advocating for our kids because forty-seven thousand children were going to be left without after-school programs and uh, childcare. Programs. That ain't right. Nope, it's not right. So, um, when the mayor proposed his budget earlier in May, mm-hmm. we realized that he cut after-school funding as well as uh, funding to childcare programs. So, forty-seven thousand children were going to be left without. But thank you to everyone who's been advocating really hard. A job well done. And, um, you know. That was nice. Yeah. yeah the mayor put $50 million back into the after school programs. So 
that's a big thank you. That thank is you a for big the kids. You. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta give respect to Mayor Bloomberg helping out to get a youth them. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So yeah. I saw on Twitter. Yes. And I want you to say some of this more for the B-sides, because you know that Twitter is that bomb. Um, something about potentially running for public office? Yes. Mm. So, um, That's you know, <laughs> usually when, you, when you're going to run, you don't really tell people you're going to run. Oh. But those are people who, you know, the real politicians who like to play tricks on us. Yeah. The real politicians. So, yeah. you know, um, no, the real ones lie. No. <laughs> okay. But the real ones, the real, real ones, the real, real, keep ones. It real, real ones, we keep it real. Right. They keeping yeah. it real ones. So, um, I have a background in education, background in working with children, but um, I love to help people, and I realized that now I'm going back in. I'm going into political science, and I'm oh. looking to tackle the political arena. Yeah, um, I'm not going to say which office I'm looking to run, okay. but public keep one. it a public one that's another yeah that's going to be another another episode okay, okay. so we'll ooh, talk about ooh, another yeah. yes in the future yeah you know, stay tuned. No. all right so jessica always has a very pivotal <clears throat> very key question that we ask our folks on the show yes. um we always ask each guest almost always um fried chicken or watermelon which do you prefer <laughs> that's a good one i prefer damn both <laughs> <laughs> me too i want fried chicken <laughs> and watermelon <laughs> Yep. Yes. So both. Me too. Good. Thank you guys. Yes. So we're gonna actually get out of here. Thank, Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for having me. Yes. Thank you for coming. Yes. Oh, and oh, 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 in your house. Did you and, stop? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm like she can't stop the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you, Jessica. Yes. For helping. You know, being a great uh, co-host. Co-host. <laughs> All right. So down there, go down. Subscribe to us. Subscribe. Oh. Click. Then you go to www.twitter.com and slash nobody's, nobody's notes. notes. Follow. On Tumblr. Follow. Instagram. Follow. And now on Vimeo, you can also watch us there. So if you're too, if you're too she she foo foo for, for the YouTube, YouTube, then you go down to the <laughs> Vimeo. Okay, boo boo. You yes. can us there. In our new format and all of our shining glory. Thank you for being here with us. We're going to say good after, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot. Uh, it's almost 4th of July! I don't celebrate that shit. <laughs> okay. Black people was not free. It's fucking 4th of July. Alright? Okay. Sister probably sold that flag for her white ass. Okay? <laughs> Time for that shit. Anyway, we can celebrate Kwame Torre, also known as Stokely Carmichael's birthday, which is actually today. Yes. Friday, uh, what is it, June 29th today? Yes. Yes, and we can also celebrate uh, Bill Weathers' birthday. His birthday is actually on July fourth. Okay. And shout out to our favorite uh, guest producer, our non-producer, our non-producer <laughs> Mo. His birthday is on Tuesday, so we're gonna say a happy birthday to Bill All Weathers, great, right? All Bill Weathers, Mo, Mo, uh, Stoker Carmichael, yes, and I guess our country. Five, six, seven, eight. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday!